So welcome to Cheltenham Town. Thank you. Well, I'm really happy to be here. And uh, you might not have said that very early on, I guess. No, well, the boys know we didn't get off to a fine start on uh, the first game of the season, but you know, we showed great character to come back into the game and it turned out to be a good second half performance. It was a good second half performance, wasn't it? Do you think you could have gone on and won it? Absolutely, yeah. A fair play to Leighton, uh, threw some great blocks in. <laughs> Keepers has been quite busy second half, but no, we take a lot of positives from that. We'll move on to Charlton on Tuesday. And uh, from a personal point of view, you, you must have been delighted with a couple of saves you made in the second half. Yeah, I was happy. Uh, obviously, coming in, I want to impress the manager and the players. I want them to be confident in me, and hopefully the fans were happy with the way I performed too. And how difficult it is to come in, make your league debut at a club that you've only been at 48 hours. No, it was very hard coming in on Thursday, you know, I only had two sessions before today's game, but the manager made sure we trained right, um, we did shape, we got used to the, the way we play, so in all honesty, the manager's done really well to get us all sorted ready for this guy. Okay? And, and it was very much not just you, but it was a pretty hastily put together defence as well, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah, you know, the last couple of days we worked on, we did 11 aside, worked on shape, we make sure that everything's right, the fundamentals are right for today, and uh, it paid off. You enjoy it? Absolutely, yeah. Obviously, a few nerves. My um, first league debut, so a few nerves to start with, but I got into the game and, uh, yeah, really did enjoy it. Was it what you expected? Yeah, I knew, obviously, um, the cr crowd going to be loud, um, the, it was going to be a high-tempo game, lots of crosses coming in the box, long balls, absolutely. I, was, I know what to expect, yeah. And uh, different playing in front of a crowd that was really getting behind the team in the second half. Absolutely, Cheltenham fans are brilliant there. The noise they made really spurred us on the second half. and we'd, Unlucky to come away with a win. You wouldn't mind playing down that slate, would you? No, absolutely not, no. So tell us a little bit uh, about yourself. Obviously, new to, new to Cheltenham, been at Everton for a while, yeah? Been at Everton since I was 14, so I've worked up through the academy, uh, got a scholarship, and now I've just signed my second professional contract. Been involved with England under 19s and 20s a few times, made a few games for them. Um, luckily, a couple of seasons ago, I managed to get on the bench for the first team, uh, but normally been training with the first team, playing for the 23s uh, and a couple of loans out at Halifax, Colvin Bay and Northwood Victoria. And uh, presumably you will uh, know the former Cheltenham manager Keith Downing through the uh, England setup. Absolutely, yeah, I've worked with Keith, uh, England under 20s, really nice guy, great coach, uh, a lot of time for Keith, really nice man. And uh, when did you find out you were coming to Cheltenham? It was on Thursday afternoon, I got a call Thursday afternoon, I was out shopping, um, found out, got home, packed my bags and I was straight on the motorway. And, and had you not been here, what would Saturday uh, afternoon have been? I think this weekend would have been off at Everton, um, so I might have gone away with the family for, for a little weekend, but no, I'm delighted to be here and I've played today. And uh, it's a good long-term loan now, isn't it? You can get yourself under the, you, the skin of the club and get yourself uh, bolted in, knowing you'll be here for a fair while. Absolutely, the new rule meaning I have to be here for either six months or a year is brilliant. Um, I've been needing to get out on loan to play games and this would be a great experience for me, a great challenge. All goalkeepers have people they look up to. Who's your goalkeeping hero? My goalkeeper here would probably be either David Seaman or Van der Sar. Um, I've watched them when I was younger and they've made some incredible saves and really like the way they start the play. Uh, and what is it about them that you go, yeah, that, they're, the, they're the great goalkeepers to me? I think it's just you know, some of the things they're capable of doing, the saves they make, the way they play, the, the, you know, the distribution, that's everything I want to be able to do. Family here to watch you? Family were here today, the girlfriend was here today, yeah. Uh, my few coaches from Everton were here today, so it was really nice for them to be behind me and also the crowd gave me a great reception too. So when you go home tonight, pretty pleased, yeah? Yeah, back to the hotel tonight, a uh, big smile on my face. Well done, thanks so much. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. I don't know whether you're aware, there was a young England goalkeeper here a, a few years ago, by the name of Jack Butland. Jack Butland, yeah, absolutely. Did quite well. Uh, uh, does that sort of give you a bit of sort of motivation to know that if you do your, your spell out in League 2, you, 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 can, you can really take a leap ahead in the absolutely. game? Absolutely, I've got a look to be doing as well, if not better than they've done whilst they've been here. Um, it's going to be a great challenge for me, so I'm just really looking forward to it. You've got some high, um, some high, high sort of hopes to get because Jack did well here. Dylan Phillips did really well here last year. Do, do you realise the sort of uh, the, 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 the the stakes involved for you now? Definitely, I know there's big boots to fill, but I think you know hopefully I'll be capable to do that. And I'm really looking forward to the next uh, next few months. You're obviously an Everton teammate with a, with a young lad from Cheltenham and Courtney and Tyrone Dufus. Those two lads you know yeah, quite well. Yeah, Courtney from. and Tyrone are two good friends of mine. I've known them a few years now. They were both doing well at the club. And obviously it just shows that a great project that's come from here. Yeah, did, did, did you speak to either of them before you uh, before you came here just to, to find out what, what was what was the gen? Yeah, obviously <laughs> I knew before I came that the lads here were great. They had a great season last uh, great last season, sorry. Um, they've said the place that Cheltenham South lovely area, helping out with a few maybe restaurants to eat in the <laughs> yeah. week and stuff like that. But no, 
I knew what was coming to and I'm obviously delighted to be here. You're not around di dinner around the Doofuses tonight or, or tomorrow? No, uh, I'll <laughs> give them a text, see if they're about, but yeah, you know, obviously, um, family over, so I'll probably celebrate tonight with the meal. Excellent. Cheers, Russ. Thank Thanks you. A lot.